عندئذ امر فيصل بمقاطعه امريكا Washington seemed amazed and thunderstruck. What does Nixon do? He orders Kissinger, Secretary of State, and Schlesinger, Secretary of Defense, to prepare to take over the Arab oil fields in Saudi Arabia. It was one of the more stupid ideas that's been discussed in American politics in my lifetime. Washington doesn't read signals very well. Faisal was one of the great leaders I met. Faisal was a strong leader. The Saudi Saudi was a strong leader in Faisal. I can say that he could read the thoughts. Because his father was in the 13th century, he was in some of the events. He was different from 180 degrees from what he was used to. أنا سامعها بإذني يقول الوحيد اللي توسمت فيه خير هو عبد الناصر لكن مع الأسف طعني في ظهري ناصر and his media machine attacked the government of Saudi Arabia but reserved its most slanderous attacks for Faisal himself إن هذه القضية ليست قضية العرب وحده I don't understand why you want to take land away from us Arabs and give it to the Jews we didn't do anything to them Roosevelt made the king a promise he said that the United States not initiate any action detrimental to the Arabs. Faisal believed not only that Roosevelt had made his father a promise, but it had come back in the form of a written commitment. Faisal was grief-stricken over the tragedy in Palestine. Saudi Arabia, no. The United Kingdom, abstain. The United States, yes. He witnessed Palestinian territory vanishing under Zionist occupation, stage by stage, until it was lost altogether in the June 1967 war. The situation within the kingdom had deteriorated to the point that the Council of Princes and the religious authorities came to the conclusion that Faisal should become king. <laughs> He had a clear vision for building the kingdom into a modern state. At the peak of his power and influence and his continued striving, 